Hi everybody, welcome back. This is Pep, you're watching Sentinel. My next video is my next episode of Fragrance 8 Z. I am now up to the letter Q and I've got to say this is probably going to be an obvious one. I had a bit of trouble working out what I was going to do for this letter um, but I got a sample of this. I tried it, I really liked it and then I saw a bottle very very cheap at a local discount chemist and I decided to get it. So today we're going to talk about Antonio Puig Corum. So Corum was released in 1981, same year that Chanel released Antaeus. So this definitely sits within the framework of 80s powerhouse, although it's quite different to something like Antaeus and also something like Yves Saint Laurent's Kouros. My friend Stephen Sprout on his channel, which I will link or, or put a, a card up on the screen, he did a video where uh, he basically talked about his experience wearing Corum for one whole week, no other fragrance, every day for a week. I think it was for a week, he might have even done it longer. But what I will say about this is that I wasn't expecting to like it to be honest, but for for its genre, for its price, it's it's really really good. So it's classified as uh, woody aromatic and woody and aromatic it certainly is. I'll start listing the notes across the screen but what I get immediately in the opening of Corum is citruses and pine uh, and, the, and the pine is quite high-pitched and and strong although not not annoying at all it, and and what what it gives this fragrance is certainly an outdoorsy vibe about it and it's the kind of thing that you spray on and you feel like being outdoors like being being out in the forest or in the mountains so to me it's not it's not so much of a of a formal kind of scent for going out it, it's it's a great everyday scent. I think this is perfect all year round apart from maybe really really hot days although you know like you probably go easy on the sprays and it'd be and it'd be fine in summer. What happens is though once the the opening of the the pine and the and the citrus dies down th there is a touch of spiciness and I think this caraway uh, in here is a note which which adds a bit of spice but also a little bit of sweetness and that's what starts to develop as you go into the into the heart notes where you start to get a little bit of florals but what I mainly get is um, a, a bit of a bit of woodiness um, probably more more leaning towards a, a creamy light wood you get a little bit of patchouli, some of the herbal earthy characteristics of patchouli um, and then there's I think there's jasmine so there's, there's a, a little bit of sweetness begins to come into this fragrance and in the end what it boils down to is it, it, it ends up on my skin being a base of I get I get a little bit of light amber and tobacco and and pretty much all the way through the development of this fragrance there is a, a nice mossy undertone which I'm assuming is the the oak moss or oak moss substitute that they've they've put in here now this bottle and the sample I tried before this bottle are current formulations and from all reports the vintage like a lot of vintages and the vintage powerhouses they probably have real oak moss everything was amplified really strong there's a reason why they're called powerhouses but i've got to say that i my personal taste for this type of fragrance is to not have it 
be too strong. So I find this formulation of quorum actually works perfectly. The longevity I get is probably up to six hours, maybe six to seven hours, and it projects okay uh, for the first hour or two, maybe a couple of feet, and it really dries down to a nice, pleasant, masculine scent. I, st I get the pine and the mossiness all the way through the development of the scent, but it kind of opens up bright from the citruses and ends up being, you know, like I say, a light ambery tobacco with, with that touch of sweetness. And I think it's more of a floral sweetness than uh, sweetness that you get from a spice it could be even the caraway because i know the caraway has a little bit of of sweetness uh, as well as sharpness to it as well but you know when i and when i'm talking about sweetness i'm not i'm not talking about gourmand scale sweetness it's just a really nicely balanced uh green woody fragrance and that's what i like about it and and I was surprised because of how cheap it is, because of how long it's been around, because of when it was released, where where brashness was more in vogue than it is today. And Corum is perfectly fine choice for for guys, maybe older guys, younger younger guys might not appreciate it, but it's perf it's fantastic value i picked this up for 15 dollars for 100 mils and you can't go wrong so it's, it's easy reach when you can't work out what to wear spray a couple of sprays on and you're set for most of the day cheap enough to respray if you need to so that was my very quick take on antonio Puig's quorum thanks see you later